Hi everyone, let's try to understand what you mean by t-test and how we are going to manually calculate t-test and what could be interpretation of this t-test when the critical values and table values as well as we can calculate it values we are going to compare. So how we are going to decide whether null hypothesis is accepted or rejected. So let's start t-test. t-test is basically based on t-distribution and is considered an appropriate test for judging the significance of a sample mean or for judging the significance of difference between the means of two samples in case of small sample when population variance is not known. So this is important condition here. We are going to apply this when the population variance is not known as well as your sample size are very small. So student in 1908 derived the T distribution table to compute the T statistics. That is why we are calling it, this is student T test rather than only T test, we are calling it student T test. When the observations is carried out on two independent sample and their mean are compared for significance difference, the comparison test is known as unpaired T test. When the observations are carried out in a single sample before and after treatment and compared for significance, the test is known as pair T test. For example, I am giving you in both the categories, I am giving you one, one example each. Let's say I am teaching in a MBA section and I just want to check what is the performance of my students before midterm examination and after midterm examination. So let's say I had taken into consideration exams before midterm exam and after midterm exams. And now I am going to compare whether there is the improvement in their marks or not. So this kind of test is known as pair T test because why? Single sample before and after because students, my students are same. My MBA students are same before this before this, uh, before this uh, midterm examination and after this midterm examination. But where we are going to apply unpaired t-test when the, there are two independent samples and their means we are going to compare. For example, I want to compare section A, MBA section A result with section B, MBA section B result. So both are two independent units and sample is not similar because section A students are entirely different and section B students those are studying they are entirely different. So suppose we want to compare both these groups so that means we can say unpair T test. So I'm sure this part is clear. Now what would be the uniform formula we are going to apply this is one sample this is unpaired and that is paired so we are going to apply when we have one single sample so we are going to apply simple this t-test formula and unpaired means when there is two different samples we are going to apply unpaired and when the similar sample one single sample and we want to check pre and post pre before and after then we are going to apply pair t test. Now I am just what I just want to share with you. I just want to share with you that is the one very simple example, one sample t test example. A business school in its advertisement claims that the average salary of its graduates in a particular lean year is at par with the average salaries offered at the top five business schools. A sample of thirty graduates from the business school whose claim was to be verified was taken at random. The salaries are given below. So this is the average salary offered at the top five business schools in that year was given as this one is 7,50,000 per annum. This is the, an hypothetical example. In this problem, we want to assess validity of the claim made by the business school in its advertisements we want to know if the average salary of the business school is significantly different from seven like fifty thousand the average salary at the top five business schools for that particular year the null hypothesis would be there is no difference between the average salary of the business school in question and the average salary of the type 
tough by business schools right and another alternate that is the rejection and acceptance i had put it here after applying this data after running this data in my spss but here is i'm going to tell you how we are going to calculate manually an alternate hypothesis there is difference between the average salary of the business school in question and the average salary of the top five business schools except this 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 hypothesis accepted in my case and this is the uh, entirely basis on the uh, spaces but here is what we have to do we are going to calculate manually so let me show you what we have to do let's say this is one example the specimen of copper wires drawn from a large lot have the following breaking strength in kg weight you can see here 578 572 570 568 and all these things till 544 so what we are doing test using students t statistics whether the mean breaking strength of the lot may be taken into 578 kg weight right test at five percent level of significance that's all so what we have to do simply taking the null hypothesis that the population mean is equal to hypothesized mean of the 578 kg so what we are going to write null hypothesis right and this is the mu Null hypothesis means population mean and this one is the sample mean that is equal to 578. But alternate hypothesis said there is these both the means are not equal to each other. That means there is a difference. So what we are going to do, this is the n means, n means 10. 10 number of uh, units data is given, 10 samples data we have drawn from the population. As the sample mean is small, and since n equal to 10, the population standard deviation is not known. So we shall use t-test assuming normal population and shall work on the test statistics t as under. This is the formula x bar minus mu h naught divided by sigma s. S stands for sample. Sigma means standard deviation divided by under root n. This is the same formula we are going to apply. Now what we have to do, all 10, these are the serial number, right? 1 to 10, you can check here, 178, 172, these are total number is 10. So 1 to 10, this is the, these are the values that already given in our statement, in our problem statement. So here is the mean breaking strength of the lot may be taken into 578, right? What we have to do, we will, this one is the sigma xi means this is the summation of all these values 5720 n is 10 so we will divide it by 10 so this would be our mean value so what we have to do 578 minus 572 572 would be that is the mean you can see here x bar we want to calculate x bar sigma xi divided by n 5720 divided by 10 so 572 is our value you can see here 572 is our x bar value x bar value so what we have to do we are going to calculate x i minus x bar simply we what we have to do that is x bar right this is the formula we can read as x i minus x bar x bar right and uh, here is you can see 578 minus 572 minus 572 so value is 6, same way, 572 minus 572, right, 572 mean means mean value, that would be 0. In the same way, minus 2, minus 4, all these values we will get it. After this, what we, are, what we have to do, xi minus x bar whole squared. So here is xi minus x bar, that is whole square of all these values so whole square here is 6 6 are 36 0 4 16 all these values now the summation x i minus x bar square right so this is the summation of this value so what is uh, what value we have to take into consideration that is i think 14 1 4 5 6 when you are manually you are going to calculate that would be 1, 4, 5, 6. Summation. This. Now we will put all these values. We have uh, almost uh, uh, got it all the values. Those we required in to apply in a formula. So sigma s 
summation x i minus x bar n minus 1 14 56 10 minus 1 that is the standard deviation is 12.72 now we have to put these values in t statistics formula 572 right minus 578 means that is the you can see here again i will go back we are going to apply all these values in this formula so x bar is 572 578 already given in our question that is the population mean 1270 12.72 we have received by applying this standard deviation formula under root 10 so now my t statistic value minus 1.48 we have to first try to find out what is the degree of freedom. Degree of freedom n minus 1. Total number of n is 10 minus 1. That means degree of freedom is 9. So we just trying to find out the values in this table. This is the table you can see. What is our degree of freedom? Degree of freedom is 9. Our degree of freedom is 9. You can see here when this is the two side. This one is the 95% uh 95 percent here is a confidence interval we i mean uh, this one is uh, we have taken uh level of significance so what we have to do you can see here what is the value we have received let me this is the value 2.262 so 2.262 this is the value to tail critical value of t at 5% alpha for 9 degree of freedom in a two-tailed test is plus minus 2.262. So since calculated value of T statistics is greater than because calculated value is minus 1.48 and this one is the critical value that means that is stable value plus minus 2.2 that means minus 2.2. That is calculated value of T study is greater than the critical value. Therefore, it falls in acceptance region. Hence, null hypothesis is accepted. Thus, we can say the mean breaking strength of lot not differ from 578 kg. That means sample mean that is hypothesis is accepted. In our case, you can see this one is null hypothesis. That means there is no difference of mean value of sample and population i hope this would be helpful to you and how manually you are going to calculate t test thank you so much keep watching